Right, Secretary, thank you firstly for the opportunity. Am I really the first? Yeah, you're Can I right. overtake your backup so that I can just say I'm first? Because yeah, this guy's yeah. trying to, he's trying to compete with me. I want to be the first on the seat. Well, I am, I am man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to live in Merville. Yes, oh, that's perfect. Because I know, it, right? not exactly at Merville. Now, from that point that we just took off, which is just before the divider of the East Service Road, I would probably take about another 30 minutes, maybe, I suppose you would take Salas or... I would have to go down to the service road, Salas, and then U-turn, and then to the west service yes. road. And that, on a good day, would be about, if I'm really lucky, no traffic, 20 minutes, but realistically 45. 45 now... Well, it's two kilometers, so I suppose five minutes. <laughs> what does this mean, though, to trade, commerce, I mean, to the average motorist who lives this way, we can see where the benefits are, but what does this mean to trade and commerce? Well, you can imagine the savings in time, you know, that's really the objective of these projects. Uh, it's really to improve the quality of life. You can imagine uh, from before 45 minutes, you know, these things add up, you know, back and forth, you know, 45 minutes, one hour, two hours, but then this, in terms of productivity, in terms of family time, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, in terms of uh, commerce, it's a big deal. And uh, this one, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's also, it's a game-changing project. Especially for the South. I'm from the South. I'm from the Las Pinas. I'm from the Las Pinas. I know that I'm going to help the traffic. And this is going to decongest in the way where you're going to you're going to send it into a completely a different direction here towards that Cavite side. Because By the we're, way, we're here already. Yeah. Where I said we were going to yeah. be in 45 minutes. So this is Tagig to Paranaque. And this is how it feels Tagig to Paranaque in less than five. I don't even know if it was five minutes. I, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> The most challenging part of this was crossing SLEX because it's an existing road and we had to build while uh, it was in use. So the total mileage of this is? This stretch this um, mm -hmm. uh, that will be opening next month is two kilometers. All right, now let's talk about some of the other road projects because this is obviously, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I see this as perhaps the biggest threat to our economy, the biggest threat to progress is really our transportation system. Uh, a lot of that falling with the DPWH for roads. Can you talk us through some of the major projects that we're looking at that will help here? I agree. And uh, we, early on in this uh, administration, that was really we saw that the uh, infrastructure shortage was uh, putting a uh, strain on the economy. You know, it was really limiting development, the movement of goods. That's why we came up with these master plans. And part of this is the what we call the Luzon Spine Expressway. The, the Skyway that we're doing now, the connector, it's all part of the Luzon Spine. And the objective there is to connect the north to the south via high-speed expressway. So once that's finished, uh, the travel time from, let's say, Bicol to La Union, which was previously could be as high as maybe 18 hours, would be cut in half to 9 hours once the high-speed expressway. So, and the Skyway alone, uh, for instance, yung uh, EDSA, may problem yung EDSA. When that's finished, can you imagine from Makati to Balintawa in 20 minutes? No, I can't. <laughs> I couldn't like, imagine before, but it's, it will happen. And this, what, what really excites me about this is that when you have roads that are really strategically placed to disperse the traffic out yes. of the metro, like you said, this encourages growth in the cities outside. Yes, and that, that's really the end goal. You know, it's not, it's not that it will create more traffic. No, it, it will spread out the traffic. That's what, and the development. That's what's really important. We, you know, we can't concentrate all the development in one area. We have to create a network of uh, infrastructure that allows the development. Because if we don't, then it will stay the same. Everyone will just remain in this one congested area. There, there was a, a JICA study made a long time ago about a high-speed expressway network. So that was, basic, that was the basis of what we did. What we're, during this administration, we basically formed task forces to make sure that the various highways that comprise the master plan are all uh, done simultaneously. We wanted to finish this before the end of the term of the president. So right now, what we have ongoing is the uh, TR4. Uh, we have, uh, we're going to finish the TPLX by this year, up to up to Rosario, and then we'll continue that to La Unión. And then uh, once uh, we finish that, uh, when we're in La Unión, when we're in La Unión, when we're in La Unión, we're in La Unión, we're in La Unión, we're At the same time, we've already finished our feasibility study for the Quezon Beagle Expressway. So that's coming uh, very soon. And what will that look like? 
Uh, that's Paper, a please. that's a long expressway. It's more than 100 kilometers, but uh, th that will complete the Luzon Spine once we finish that. So you'll be able. Our goal of going from Bicol to uh, La Union or as far as Ilocos will be complete. And when that's done, that will bring development not just to to areas that previously you know, uh, never had as much uh, connectivity as now. Well, Secretary, thank you very yes, much for your pleasure. time. And I'm looking forward to a very movable Philippines. Yes, yes. Uh, it's very soon. Sooner than you think. The best is yet to come.